Hey guys, it's Dr. Trippy. If you're wondering what I'm doing making this video, well, on my 19th episode of Ask Me Trippy, CJ2 Game mentioned the fact that I'm nearing my 100th video upload and to do something special for it. I like the idea until I realized that my 100th video upload would be my next episode of I Dare ya. So I decided to film a separate video, the one you're watching right now, to show you something behind the scenes, give you a room tour, stuff like that. So to kick things off, I'm gonna start by showing you a tour of my bedroom. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is my bed, where I obviously sleep every night. Oh, and... Whoa, that's a lot of light. This is my subscribe pillow that I bought last year. I use it in a couple of my videos, but I didn't use it long before YouTube changed the layout of their website and the design of the subscribe button. Okay, so this is my green screen, of course. Um, editing Patrick Trippy. Put a background on this, whatever you want. Did it work? I don't know. I don't have the best lighting system for the green screen, so it doesn't always work and it's hard to configure. It sometimes takes hours and I've learned just not to use it all the time. Just use it when you know you can use it. But if you're wondering why it's on my wall, it's because I'm using it to add color to my room because my walls look boring because they're all painted white. Okay, so over here on a shelf under my window are a few things I'd like to show you. The first one, this lucky cat thing. Um, I got this for Christmas for my mom. Last year, I forget. A few years ago, I don't know. And I love it a lot. Now the second one is this Buddha figure that I got as a white elephant gift at my cousin's Christmas party. And they were doing something different, so they're doing a white elephant gift giving thing. So I got this, and actually I love it a lot. And I mean, it's probably the only one thing that was actually good and not old. So I just have it on my shelf just for decorative purposes, I guess. I like it. Now if we move past my CTFXC Assassin's shoe box, you come to a real gumball machine. This gumball machine I purchased at a rummage sale a few, no, I think it was years ago, many years ago, and my mom was gonna throw it out, but I decided just to keep it. She's like, you better find a place for it in your room, and so I did. Um, it works, but I just don't have a top anymore. I lost that, it used to lock up with a key. So now I just have this Rasta Frog hat that I got at Rainforest Cafe on there, just to make it look at least decent. Put this on. Yo, what's up? Oh, that's weird. Okay, moving on to my desk area. My professional DJ party light. It's actually missing a light, but I don't use it often anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I have two other party lights. This one is a moonflower, and it isn't professional, but it works just the same. It just rotates back and forth. And then this one is a strobe light, of course, and it's not professional either. Of course, it doesn't look that professional anyway, but it has like color slides that I think I have somewhere else. And all of these lights I use to dance around the house and have my own little party when I'm home alone. Sounds sad, but I have a lot of fun, trust me. Now I'm going to show you the behind the scenes, what I use to film, what I use to edit, stuff like that. Okay, so I don't have the money to buy professional lighting, but what would my videos look like with no lighting? So I have two lights. One is an uncovered lamp that has aluminum foil behind it on a music sheet stand to reflect the light onto my face. And the other one is a spotlight that's duct taped to a pole, and then the pole is in a tripod so that it's off the ground. There's aluminum foil inside because it reflects more light, I guess, on my face. The background I use, ironically, is a YouTube beach towel. Here, let me show you. Oh my god, let me just get this off the duct tape. Let's see, can you see that? Let me see what I can get without tearing it off the wall fully. Oh, it's really harder than I thought. Wait, maybe if I do like this. Can you see? This isn't working out how I planned. Okay, can you see that? See, that says you, and then the other side says tube, of course. 
And the camera that I use, which I'm actually using right now, so let me grab this mirror that's so conveniently right here. I think it's a little heavy, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold it long. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, so there it is. Oh, look at Jack. He's laying there like a sack of potatoes. Okay, so I'm not even looking at the camera. This is a Nikon D5100. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's right on the side of the camera. And it has a mini boom mic and a swivel out screen so that I know what I'm shooting because or my videos would look weird because I wouldn't know if I'm in the shot or not. Oh, and I almost forgot. The computer that I use to edit my videos is this hunkin piece of electronic, I guess you could call it. I got this for Christmas a few years ago. It was a Black Friday deal online a few days before Black Friday on BestBuy.com. So I can't believe it's held up this long. I've actually had to replace the screen once, replace the keyboard once, and that's about it. I'm actually, I almost forgot I'm missing a USB drive. So this thing has been through a lot. I basically use this more than what it should be used for basically because if I'm editing videos like two times a week, I should be using something less bulky than this. All right, I showed you my bedroom and I showed you all of the behind the scenes. Now I want to share with you three things I planned for this channel from this point on. So, number one, I'll be continuing my Daria series with new episodes every Tuesday and my Ask P Trippy series with new episodes every Saturday. Of course, there may be a point sometime down the road where I have to end either one or both of the series for some reason, but we shouldn't have to worry about that right now. Number two deals with summer, when I obviously have more free time and my parents aren't home for several hours. So that being the case, I'll be filming many new comedy skits during the summer months that will be better than any of the skits I've done in the past. Plus, I already started the brainstorming process and I plan on starting script writing before the summer as well. The third and final one, you may have heard me mention before, and it has to do with my Idaria series. What I'm talking about is that I'm currently in the works of integrating prank calls into my Idaria series but in terms of when the first Idaria prank call episode will be, that is still TBA, meaning to be announced. I don't have an exact date. I'm still trying to formulate the plan and I'm still trying to fully integrate it. So stay tuned for that as well, I guess. Alrighty then, that's all I have for the sharing and info part of this video. So subscribe to me if you haven't already and join me on the journey of the next 100 videos on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up below if it made you laugh or smile and make sure to connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Well, I'm Patrick Trippy. I love you guys. Thanks to CJ2Game for giving me this idea that I did not have. And as always, thanks for watching.